What's up everyone, it's Tanner out of Turn 2 and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. With Koro Koro just being officially released, the amount of news and rumors have been dying down and it looks like it'll take a few more weeks for more news to come in. However, with the little that was revealed so far, there are many unanswered questions in these games. The most popular from the comments of my last video was about these new Kyogre and Groudon forms in the covers of the game. It had been confirmed a few days after the game's announcement that these aren't just redesigns for Generation 6 and with footage of the original Kyogre and Groudon being released, fans are almost certain that these are new forms. But what are these new forms? Let's take a look. First off, let's compare the Kyogre and Groudon we all know to these new ones. The most significant change in Groudon without a doubt is the glowing markings all throughout its body, running from its eyes down to its tail. Its eyes change from black eyes and a yellow pupil to glowing red eyes with the yellow pupil, almost reflecting a state of extreme rage and unawareness of its surroundings. These same eye markings can be found on four areas in its body. The claw-like formations found on its tail spreads out and widens, and the thorn-like spikes on its body become smaller and into a charcoal color. And the biggest feature we should mention is the Omega symbol which can be found on on the hands and knees of Groudon. Unlike Groudon's enraged appearance, Kyogre undergoes changes that give it more elegance to its appearance, being the quiet, more common collective type. But like Groudon, its markings also grow and light up. The once red marks found on Kyogre's body have been transformed into glowing, illuminating symbols. The alpha symbol is present on its hands and head, adding more of an ancient look. These markings on these two almost look as though they are internal markings that glow within their body, with this form looking like a more awakened form of their original enraged forms from the anime and games, fans are suggesting that these new forms are actually new, usable awakened forms. Originally, when the respective orbs were near Kyogre and Groudon, their markings would glow and they'd become much more fiercer, as seen in the anime. Using this, fans are suggesting that the red and blue orbs will become held items instead of key items in the new Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games. And like Eratina, while holding their respective orbs, they will change into either Omega Groudon or Alpha Kyogre. This theory seems very likely, and so far there isn't anything that can prove this theory is wrong until we get more information. But that also raises the question, what about Rayquaza? Rayquaza also has the same markings that glow when it's in action, and with Heart Gold and Soul Silver introducing the Jade Orb, doesn't it make sense for Rayquaza to also get a new form? Because of this, me and a good friend have created what we think Rayquaza would look like if it were to get an awakened form. I hosted a survey on my Twitter to determine the Greek letter that Rayquaza's marking resembled, and just as how Omega belonged to Groudon and Alpha belonged to Kyogre, and the most popular one was Theta, so here's what we came up with. The circular symbols that were originally around its body morph into connected data symbols all over its body to add on to its ancient appearance. Its overall darker appearance complements its bright glowing markings as well. The ears also shift down similar to many other dragon type Pokemon designs, and its arms buff up and its claws become much more thicker to give an overall much more intimidating look. It makes sense for Rayquaza to also obtain a new form like Omega Groudon and Alpha Kyogre, but until future leaks, only time will tell. But that's all we can make out of these images. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think about these new forms and what do you think about Rayquaza being the third member of the trio getting a new form. There is a lot more coverage in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire to come. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.